Welcome to Wrestling Games Exhumed. My name is Matt Denton, and as a wrestling fan and gamer, I'm going to marry two of my favorite things together, wrestling and video gaming, by going around digging up games of wrestling's past and throwing them back into the ring for another fight. Good, bad, downright ugly, I'm gonna play them. On this episode, <sighs> Rumble Roses Double X. Okay, you know what? If I'm gonna have to do this, let's do this properly. Lights! Smoke Machine. Rumble Roses. Double X. Bound Chicken Wow Wow. When I said I'd review wrestling games, I hope that nobody would pick up on the fact that there are embarrassing games like this one out there in the wrestling game genre. Damn it, I was wrong! So here goes. In 2006, Konami reunited with Ukes to bring a sequel to 2004's Rumble Roses on the PlayStation 2. This game, obviously, would be Rumble Roses Double X for the Xbox 360. I'm gonna try and gloss over the graphic side of things because for the love of everything that's holy, this is smut. Smut, smut, smut. Don't get me wrong, I love a bit of smut. Doesn't everybody? But this... This is just, I, I, I don't even know, it's ridiculous. At least when Dead or Alive did it, it was somewhat redeemable. For a game by Ukes, things are just... weird. If you run by the turnbuckles, they stretch. The turnbuckle pads stretch. Whatever, I guess this is just supposed to be a wrestling takeoff of DOA, but it comes across like a cheap piece of tat appealing to the sex-crazed maniacs who love spending time with their right hand, a bottle of lotion, and a crusty sock. The game features 10 characters who are all dressed in skimpy outfits, have big boobs, and are pure eye candy. These 10 characters have alter egos depending if they're a good girl or a bad girl, which brings the roster to 20. These characters range from punk rockers to teachers to cowgirls to doctors. Plus you can customize the attires of everybody in game just in case they're not wearing skimpy enough clothing for you. The thing I really hate to admit is that the engine actually works kind of rather well. This doesn't redeem the game in any fashion, but it makes me wish that there was a proper wrestling game with certain elements of this game. If you're a fan of wrestling games, you'll recognize familiar animations from the SmackDown series. Yeah, you'll find moves from right around Here Comes the Pain or SmackDown vs Raw era in this game, which is a bit cheeky of Ukes to reuse assets from a completely different game, but it is what it is. When I say the engine's good, I mean, for moves like a dragon screw leg whip, you can transition to a point where your grappler keeps a hold of their opponent's leg for a quick transition into another attack or submission. This goes also for snapmare takeovers and such moves like that. Plus, there are plenty of unique moves that I would love to see in WD games just for variety. Considering that Ukes reused animation assets, you'd also think they'd carry over their stellar control scheme too, but this isn't the case. The controls in this game are really unintuitive, with grapples assigned to Y, strikes on X, running on A, and guarding is the right bumper with X and Y modifiers to block strikes and grapples. This can be really annoying, especially when it comes to running grapples. Finishes are storable, much like SmackDown, and are activated using the left bumper at any time. No groggy state needed, you can bust it out when your opponent is in the right position. They come in two different types too, lethal and killer moves. Lethal moves are stronger than killer. Also, if you have a finisher built up, and your opponent's humiliation meter is built up to maximum by countering and executing quote-unquote embarrassing moves like atomic drops, you can put her in a special humiliation submission because the game really loves to crank things up to 11. Match types are as follows. Singles, tag, three or four woman battle royals, street fights, handicap matches, humiliation submission matches, and the queen's match. Because the name is vague, I'll go into the queen's match first. Essentially, it's a regular match that takes place at the beach, and the loser has to fulfill some kind of humiliation post-match, like acting like a cat, dancing with a hula hoop, rubbing oil on the winner, or being pushed into a pool, or doing yoga. Yeah, really. Street fights are more like your typical fighting games. You have about two or three minutes to knock out your opponent using wrestling moves, pinfalls and submissions don't count, and you have to win two straight rounds to be victorious. And humiliation submission matches are where you build up your opponent's humiliation meter and put them in the humiliation submission special move and make them tap. Nothing special. The rest of the matches are standard. Also, there's no career mode to speak of in this game. 
If you want a story, go back to the original Rumble Roses. This game is just a bunch of random wrestling matches to build up your character's skills and popularity to get a title shot. That's literally it, which takes away any legitimacy for this game to be more than eye candy. I spent about an hour and a half playing this game, an hour and a half that I'll never, ever get back. If you paid any amount of money for this game, I truly wish you could get it back because Konami and Yuke's both should pay the consumer for playing this trash. If there's one thing I can take away from this horrible ordeal, is that the man who challenged me to play this trash paid $7.99 and is now stuck with a copy of Rumble Roses forever. 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 Suck it, Chris. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, just hit like and subscribe. If there's a wrestling game you want to see me dig up and dust off, drop it in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter at Words and Prism, and you can find much more of my stuff at ViciousPrism.com. So take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. And if you're sick of the casual sexism in this video, here's something for you. I'm a nice man. Yeah, I'm an ass man!